For critical environments, the space being monitored can be a positive, negative, or neutral space. The user determines what kind of space is monitored with the alarm set points. A positive room will have an alarm set point slightly above zero differential pressure to some greater positive pressure. A negative pressure room will have alarm set points from less than zero differential pressure to a deeper negative pressure. A neutral room will have the high alarm set point in the positive pressure range and the low alarm set point will be a negative number. The SRCM monitors pressure, temperature, and humidity in two rooms. The SRCM will only alarm on pressure for either room. Setting alarm set points. This is the main screen. Press menu to get to the administrative menu screen. This is the administrative menu. Press alarm set point to get to the setup screen for the alarm set points. This is the alarm set point screen where you enter the alarm parameters you require for each kind of pressure, positive, neutral, and negative rooms. This can be done for the primary room and the secondary room by selecting each room on the screen. As always, be sure to press save and exit after all changes are made. Alarm setup. This is the main screen. Press menu to get to the administrative menu screen. This is the administrative menu. Press setup alarm to get to the setup alarm screen. This is the setup alarm screen. Be sure to be aware of which room you are setting up, primary or secondary room, and what kind of pressure, positive, neutral, or negative, that you have. Latch alarm. Enabled. Requires that an alarm event be acknowledged and that the pressure returns to within the normal range. When a latch alarm occurs, the home screen displays a reset button to the right of the menu button. Press the reset button to acknowledge and reset the latch alarm condition. Disabled. In this mode, the alarm will be silenced when the pressure returns to normal range without requiring acknowledgement. Alarm delay. Time between when the pressure went outside alarm set points and when the unit goes into alarm mode. Audible alarm. Enabled. Audible buzzer sounds when alarm occurs. A new silence button will appear in the home screen so that the operator can silence the audible alarm. The audible alarm is silenced only for the period of time defined by mute timeout. Disabled. No audible buzzer alarm. Regardless of whether audible alarming is enabled or disabled, the red alarm condition will show on the home screen. Mute timeout. Mute timeout is the time in seconds that the alarm will remain silent after pressing the silence button before the audible alarm resumes again. Digital input. 
Disable. No door switch is being used. Door does not alarm. This function is used when the user wants to disable any alarms that are occurring as a result of the door being open. The alarms will be re-enabled once the door is closed. Door. This monitors door status of open or closed, if a door switch is being used. A yellow door warning on the home screen will show. Dead band percentage. Adjustable between zero. No warning will occur. And 10%. Yellow warning will be displayed if the pressure value reaches that percentage of total pressure set point range to indicate that the pressure is near alarm limits. Buzzer volume set from 1 to 4, where 4 is the loudest. Be sure to press save and exit after all changes are made. Active versus standby. This basically determines if the room is being used or not. To change between active and standby mode, press on the kind of room pressure that is displayed on the main menu. If it is being used by a patient, for example, it should be in active mode. If, for example, the cleaning crew needs access, it would be in standby mode. In standby mode, no alarms will sound. Be sure to press save and exit after all changes are made. This is how the main screen should look in standby mode. Remember, in this mode, no alarms will sound. I have a negative room, but the display is indicating positive room. Check the alarm set points. Make sure they correspond to the proper kind of room. Be sure the unit is plumbed correctly so that the high or positive port is plumbed to the room being monitored and the low or negative port is plumbed to the reference space. My unit is not alarming. Make sure the unit is not in standby or no isolation mode. The units will not alarm in either of these modes. Make sure to check the alarm set points. Is the pressure outside of these points? If not, it will not alarm. Check if the audible alarm is disabled. If so, there will be no audible alarm. Also, the SRCM will only alarm on pressure and not the other parameters it can monitor. My balancers are not getting the same pressure readings as the room monitors. Many times balancers check the pressure under the door of a room and it may not match that of the room monitors whose pressure pickups are somewhere else in the room. To compare correctly, the balancer's gauges need to be plumbed into the tubing of the room monitors to ensure you're comparing apples to apples.